What's the difference between injecting here, here, and here? Each one of these injection points you've probably touched on at various points in your career, and they all cause subtle or dramatic differences that we need to understand. It's also a really good way of understanding the anatomy and understanding that millimeters really matter when it comes to injecting botulinum toxin. So this injection point here is a little bit too medial to the eye. Because we're supposed to leave 1.5 centimeters, what's actually happened if you have a look in this model is we've missed the bulk of the orbicularis oculi muscle. We are also too close to the important structures of the eye. Directly behind that blue dot is the lateral rectus muscle. If I was to insert this muscle deeply enough, that's what I would be hitting. Directly above that injection point by a few millimeters is the lacrimal gland. This is also a vulnerable structure to injecting at this point. So always leave 1.5 centimeters. The next injection point is actually in the correct place. Because the muscle arcs away from the eye and then comes back in inferiorly, we are now directly over the bulk of orbicularis oculi. And this is an important injection to soften lateral canthal lines. Although do be careful because it is an accessory muscle to cheek elevation and sometimes over-treating it, as you can see, can make your patients look a little bit sad because they don't get that upward pull in their cheek area during smiling. This injection here, particularly if you go too deep and through the subcutaneous fat, will leave your needle tip resting right on the origin of the zygomaticus major muscle. So this muscle elevates your cheeks when you smile, and if you relax that muscle even a little bit, you'll get asymmetry, potentially even a droopy smile, which will make your patients look and feel very unhappy. So why would anyone ever inject in these areas? Inaccurate injection is actually par for the course as you develop as an injector. So newer injectors have a lower resolution for their anatomy. It's not that they don't know the anatomy, it's that the resolution is poor. So five millimeters in one direction or the other, it simply does not look out of place to them. And this is why this type of video, I think will really help you develop in your anatomical understanding but also if you're a trainer to teach other people better, and if you're explaining to your patients to explain better to them what you do to keep them safe. It's very easy as an injector to be five to 10 millimeters out of position when there's something there to distract you. So for example, imagine your patient has a really big orbicularis oculi muscle with lots of lines and wrinkles everywhere. It may create some confusion about where the best position is. If it's a more neat and discreet muscle, you can see more clearly where you want to inject. There are many other factors that might affect you as well. Simply the angle that you inject your patient on. If you have to be in a room where you can't get to one side of the bed, for example, this might change your injection point. It can also change your injection points according to what your patient demands. Sometimes patients can be quite demanding to get rid of lines and wrinkles that, for example, spread into the cheek or maybe have a line that goes right into their lateral canthus. And that makes you want to chase the line which unfortunately then causes a side effect as you will quickly learn the more often you submit to patient requests instead of being guided by the anatomy. I also think there's a stage of injecting, it's called the Dunning-Kruger effect, where you get a burst of confidence and you suddenly think the specialty is really easy and you actually think less and inject more and that's actually when you get the bulk of your first wave of complications. That will then ground you in a new state of fear around your patients, will make you think much more clearly about where you inject and then your resolution for injecting, your anatomical knowledge will go up and you'll think more when you're injecting and get fewer side effects. So if you enjoyed that and you'd like to learn about different injection points, let me know in the comments what you'd like to learn about next. If you're interested in anatomy and want to really master this topic alongside botulinum toxins, I have a lot of new stuff coming. It's part of a new program I'm developing. It's not quite open yet, but you can register to be in the loop if you just click the link in the description of this video below.